Typical question is what about electricity and plumbing? It's very simple. It's just like it functions in any normal home. So let's first talk about the supply. You could either choose to go off grid or you could choose to stay on grid. Off grid of course means that you're not taking the supply, the electricity supply or the water supply from any municipal corporation or system or from the government. You are either producing it yourself or you're getting it from natural resources. And if you're on grid, then that means, you know, your home can be anywhere, like in a society, in a condominium society, in regular colonies, in any of the cities, in the rural hinterlands, in a farm, anywhere. And you can be connected with the regular government electricity supply and the government regular water supply from the Jal Vibhag, of course. So from an electricity wiring perspective, let's look at this as an example, right? Consider this as your house, which is what it is. It is like a studio apartment. And uh, this space has been designed for the master bed to come in, a regular king-sized bed. And on both sides, you will see the electrical systems already done, the sockets being over there, so that you can have your bedside table lamps or to charge your mobile phones, anything at all that you need. We've also, of course, built in some inbuilt lights. So what you'll see over here is, you know, we've given a spotlight, which is right inside. And mud building allows you to sculpt niches and do anything you want. If we move further, again, all the electrical bits are done inbuilt. So just like you can either do it while building or even after building, like in your home, you put the wall in your house, you put the wall in your house, and you put the wall in your house. Similarly, here we can chip off the wall, the electrical wiring can be done and you can just plaster over it again. For the Gadi Ghar or our cop car cottage, the entire electrical wiring and fittings was actually done after building the house. You know, we've put a central light, a chandelier over here. This is a two-way switch. So it can be operated both from the outside as well as from the inside. And you can see the electrical systems are right over here. We move further. You will, um, you know, I'll show you this section. This will be coming up as the kitchenette where you can be cooking your food. So, you know, good sockets have been given over here for your induction cooker, for your water kettle, for your mixer grinder, anything at all that you want to put in. You've got an overhead shelf to put your kitchen appliances. We've got a spotlight over there. So if you don't want to disturb somebody who's sleeping at night and you know, at night you, you want to fix a midnight snack, you could just turn on that light and you could be working over here. 